Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Angelina, if you're new here. If you're not new here, it's nice to see you again. So, I wanted to share a little seed haul with you guys today. I am just going to jump right into it because there's a good bit of seeds here. I have somewhere to be in 30 minutes, so let's hope that this video is short. I... I'm going to start with these. I categorized everything because when it came in, I just put everything um, kind of like peppers with peppers, tomatoes with tomatoes, flowers with flowers. And then I put some of these might seem a little random to you. I don't know why I put them together the way I put them together, but I did. So we're just going to go ahead and jump right in. I got these Tennessee red peanuts. I craved boiled peanuts when I was pregnant with my youngest and that craving went away after I gave birth to her but it seems to be back and no I'm not pregnant but I might have like a need for salt I don't know um so I got these because if I can grow them and make my own boiled peanuts, that'll save my wallet a little bit. So, I got this glass gem corn. I thought it was corn that you could eat right off the cob. Apparently, it's a popcorn. And I didn't figure that out until after I bought it. Because uh, I saw this same brand on a different website and it said it was a popcorn or like a flour corn. Like, you could grind it down into a flour. Um, so, I guess I'll just have some interesting looking popcorn. I don't know. So I got those. Um, I had already started this video once and um, my youngest needed to go down for a nap so she was a little cranky. Uh, and you could hear that. So she's down for a nap right now. I got these Red Ripper cowpeas. Um, never tried cowpeas before that I know of. Uh, Jess from Roots and Refuge talks about these. She tried, she grew a bunch of them last year. Um, and she actually talks about a lot of the seeds that I got, which I got off of the fact that she says that they're delicious and everything else. So I figured I'd try them for my own, on my own. And, um, she also talks about growing something pretty. So you'll see that that is a theme with everything that I got because... I've grown just the traditional stuff before and you know I want something interesting I want something pretty I love beautiful stuff like just beautiful stuff so I got this burgundy okra I've never grown okra before and this was pretty so I figured I would give this a try and then I got this, which says it's an Israeli variety. I got the Star of David okra, which I really wanted to try. I think on the website it said when you cut it open, it looks like the Star of David. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and try this. I got a couple flowers. Um, I... For years, ever since I was pregnant with my oldest. So back in 2019, I uh, we went to a farm to pick like sunflowers and stuff. And they had some that looked like this. They actually had some that were like almost black. And I didn't know that sunflowers came in those colors. And I fell in love. So when I saw these, I had to get them. They're the evening sun sunflower. I hope this video isn't in reverse the whole time because I just noticed that I'm reading this backwards. So hopefully that fixes itself when I uh, look back on it because I'm using my phone. And then I got this Tip Top Mahogany Nasturtium. Um, I ordered this and then afterwards I was watching one of the Roots and Refuge videos and she said that it tastes like horseradish and I absolutely hate horseradish so we'll see. Um, I just, I don't know, it's something beautiful. So even if it, 
even if I don't end up liking it, hopefully the bees will like it. I am not even going to try and pronounce this one. Oh, let me tell you. This is, yeah, I don't know. I'm not going to. It's celery. <laughs> um, I did not like celery for the longest time until I ate it with some wings and I think it was hot sauce. And then I was like, oh my goodness, this is amazing. So I love eating it with like a, like a buffalo sauce and wings or actually I'll just eat it with ranch now because I, I like celery now. So I got that one and I got Utah tall. It's really hard to say together. Um, my husband also likes celery, so getting two different kinds of celery is a win-win. I have no idea what this is. I don't know if it's a type of celery. I don't know if it's a type of, like, lettuce. I don't know if it's a type of, like, I don't know what it is. This was one of the free seeds that they sent me. I really should look it up. Um, I don't know. It was one of the things that they sent me, so I'll try it. It says it has smooth mustard shaped leaves. So I'm wondering if it's like a, a type of mustard plant. I, I'm not sure. Like I said, I'll have to look that up, but it was one of the free seeds that they sent me. I got this because I've never tried Swiss chard and it kind of looks like a very colorful celery. So I got this uh, five color silver beet chard beet Swiss chard. Um, it says it's originated in Australia and that it's ornamental and tasty. So I'm going to give that a try. I got these Georgia Southern collards. I love me some collards. So I picked up a pack of collard seeds while I was there. While I was there. While I was on the website, I picked up a pack of collard seeds. I didn't know that they were going to be this tiny when I ordered them but I got this little gem lettuce look how cute that is it's the size of a fork uh, I thought this would be good for like little personal salads um I just didn't know how little and personal it was going to be <laughs> but that was a user error on my part I I got over taken by ooh seeds uh while I was ordering so I got these and I love romaine. It's really good. I thought I'd be able to use it as a wrap, but maybe I can wrap a cherry tomato in it, which I got those spoon tomatoes. If you saw my last video where I talked about like things I want to do in the new year, um, I showed another like seed haul. It was only like five seeds and then the free pack that they sent um, that I had gotten from Baker Creek. Like this is not a sponsored video. I'm just going to put that out there, but everything is for Baker Creek. <laughs> I paid for it all, 100%. Um, I got this Sapporo Giant Number 4 cabbage. It's one of their new ones for this year. That looks like it's probably a four or five-year-old child, and that should give you, like, some sort of context for how big that cabbage is. It says that it averages 17 to 37 pounds, and that it can grow up to 44 pounds. So I'll probably only plant like three or four of these maybe. Uh, because that's a lot of cabbage. Um, so I'm excited to try it when it's time to try it. But this will not be going in my summer garden. I'll try and put it in a fall garden. Um... Now, I'm going to show you the peppers. I ordered a bit of peppers, and they gave me a free seed pack of peppers, which I wanted to get all, like, mild when it came to the spice. Uh, I didn't want anything too spicy because I don't like having to have a fire hydrant amount of water to you know, take care of the spice, but they sent me this one and it says it's vicious heat, complex, fruity flavor. So I hope it's not too spicy, but if it is, I have a brother that likes spice.
spicy stuff like this. So I'll give it a try. I'll plant like maybe two plants and see how I like it um, to see if I want to do it again in the future. So this was one of the free seeds they sent me. Um, I got cayenne, long, thin pepper. I had some of these that I bought from a local nursery this past year, and I only bought two plants. It did produce very well, but my husband ate almost every one that came off of the plant once it was done, so I didn't get to keep any, hardly. And the ones that I did keep, I kept for seeds, but I didn't let them, like, fully grow, I don't think. So I don't know if the seeds would work very well, so I figured I would just buy a seed packet of these and start them myself and grow them. My husband absolutely loved them. Uh, I got this Setuda. I think that's how you pronounce it. Don't come at me for it. <laughs> Pepper. Um, I just wanted to try a bunch of different types of bell peppers. This one says it reaches up to a half a pound. That's a big pepper. Um, so I got that one. I got the California Wonder Pepper. You know, just like the typical pepper. Um, it says it's an excellent green bell pepper. I don't know why the picture is red though. But I know that you can pick it when it's like red. I think it changes the flavor. Not 100% sure. Um, I got banana pepper. I love stuffing these with cream cheese. I don't like pickled banana peppers so much, but I kind of like a stuffed jalapeno, just not wrapped in bacon and not breaded. I like to do with this, which is just stuffing it with cream cheese, stick it in the oven and letting it cook. You could probably, you could do these on the grill. I just don't grill. My husband grills. Um, so I just stick them in the oven and fill them with cream cheese and I love them. Or I can chop them up and add them to different things like saute them. Kind of like I would a bell pepper. Uh, I got some shishito peppers. This is another one that Roots and Refuge talks about. Uh, that she talks, Jess from Roots and Refuge talks about. Um, so I figured I would give those a try. I got these Pippin's Golden Honey. Oh, they look delicious. They also remind me of Lord of the Rings because Pippin. Um, so I got these. They just look gorgeous, do they not? It is a multicolored sweet pepper, it says. Um, so I figured I'd give those a try because they look absolutely delicious and I love eating peppers. I got poblano peppers. This is one of my favorite types of spicy peppers. Um, I like getting like the stuffed poblanos whenever we go to the Mexican restaurant and this is amazing. So I tried growing me some poblano peppers from already started plants from my local nursery and for some reason, I don't know if it's because I only bought one poblano plant, um, I got one poblano off of it and it was the size actually it was a little smaller than a golf ball it did not grow any bigger than that I got this jigsaw pepper it says it is a um I thought it was a sweet pepper no it's about as spicy as a jalapeno it says and it's really pretty so I bought this one I got this lemon spice jalapeno. I was in the middle of recording and my alarm went off. I was trying to do this in one take so I didn't have to piece it together in my editing app, but things happen. So I got this lemon spice jalapeno. I've never seen a jalapeno that's yellow, so I got that. I got this Tabasco pepper because I like Tabasco sauce. It's really good in chili, if you have not tried that. My dad used to put it in chili growing up, when we were growing up. Um, he would use my, his dad's, my grandfather's, uh, chili recipe, and he would put Tabasco sauce in it. So I figured I could try making my own Tabasco sauce. Um, I got Craig's Grande Jalapeno. Like I said, I love stuffing them with cream cheese. Um, they are delicious. Wrap them in bacon, stick them in the oven, put them on the grill. Amazing. Cream cheese. 
inside them uh depending on how much of the seeds and little like fleshy rind you take out of the inside depends on how spicy they'll stay i like to take almost all of it out because i like the flavor of the jalapeno with the sweetness of the cream cheese and everything else and sometimes I like a little kick, so I'll leave a little bit of the rind, but if I leave too much, I, it's a lot to handle. I'm, I like spicy, but sometimes a jalapeno can get spicy. Like, uh, anyway, I usually do them in the oven. Uh, I'm not the griller in my family. My husband is. So maybe this year I'll get him to throw me some on the grill because I like them on the grill too. It makes the bacon nice and crispy. It likes it. Gives a nice scorch to the jalapenos. Oh, it's delicious. It's making my mouth water just talking about it. King of the North pepper. This is um, just like another bell pepper. So it says it yields crisp green bell peppers ripening to red right up until frost. Love me some bell peppers. Use it in a lot of things. I think the cats knocked something over outside. I've had some stray cats coming up messing with my cats. Um, so I got this one. I got the Italian pepperoncini pepper. I love pepperoncinis. When I was pregnant with my youngest, I ate like two jars that were like, like this big. Like they were big uh, from Walmart in like a week, week and a half because I craved them. I dropped my seeds. Um, so I got these. I figured I could pickle them myself. I, I know they're good pickling pepper, but can you eat these just without pickling them? Let me know down below in the comments, but I like pepperoncinis, so I got those too. Plus, I want to learn how to preserve things. I want to learn how to can and pickle and everything else, so I figured I'd give those a try. This is another new thing that I have never eaten before. Uh, didn't even really know that they were a thing until I was watching Roots and Refuge vlogs. Um, ground cherries. So I figured I would try them. They're the new handover ground cherry. Um, don't have much to say besides I want to try them. Uh, I got the tomato bread and salt. It's a new variety that they had it looked delicious it says it's a meaty one so it's good for sauce making i've never actually made homemade sauce but like i said i want to try canning and everything else so i want to give it a go plus i love it says it's a slicing tomato i love tomato and mayo sandwiches it was a staple that my grandmother used to make all the time and Every time I eat one, it reminds me of her. And you got to make it on like that. For me, I got to make it on that like white cheap bread that falls apart in your mouth because it just reminds me of my Grammy and when she would make those because she would use the white bread. Um, but I have recently started toasting it. Oh, it adds a whole different thing. Just, oh, try it. Um... I got this Berry's Crazy Cherry Tomatoes. It says it grows 40 to 60 in a bunch. And I love me some cherry tomatoes. They don't love me necessarily, any tomato. It makes my mouth kind of hurt a little bit from the acid. And that only started within the last few years. I don't know if maybe I'm allergic to tomatoes now. But either way, I will eat them until, you know, medically necessary to stop. I got purple bumblebee tomatoes. They are a, it says striped lime green and bronzy purple. It's pretty. So I figured I'd try those. I got this Amish paste tomato. It says it's good for making tomato paste. So that's why I got this. I also got another one that says it's a good paste tomato, but that's at the back of this pack, uh, like stack. So I'll t show you guys in those in a minute. Um, but it says it's part of the Amish community in Wisconsin. So it comes from there. All of these are heirloom seeds, by the way. Um, I got the Abe Lincoln tomato. It's a slicing tomato, I guess. Uh, it says slicer or canner. So this is another one that I can do either with. I got green doctor's tomato. 
because it's a lime green cherry tomato. Like, I love this color. I actually have a very old Honda Civic. It's not very old. It's older than me, but it's from the 90s. And I was like, I'm going to paint it lime green. It's not running at the moment, but I really wanted to paint it lime green. I love the color lime green, so I got a lime green tomato. I got Dr. I'm going to mess this one up. I got Dr. Wychie's Watches yellow. It's huge. Looks delicious. Kind of looks like a pumpkin in my opinion, but I got this to try. I got the Kellogg's Brefix tomato, which kind of looks the same. These last two are another one that Jess from Roots and Refuge talks about, so I wanted to try these and this one. Uh, Paul Rubson wanted to give that a try. It's a really pretty looking tomato. And then Thorburn's Terracotta. It's a uh, like an orangish colored one. Obviously, it's terracotta colored, which is like a rusty color. Uh, oh, it looks so good. I got this Cherokee Purple Tomato, um, which it's a Cherokee Indian heirloom, and uh, I wanted to try that. I got two packs of these. Um, I got the Jersey Devil Tomato, which it says it's a for good for fresh eating and sauce. Um, and I'm going to give one of these away to a friend. And then I accidentally ordered two of these. I purposefully ordered two of the Jersey Devils. I accidentally ordered two Queen of the Night tomatoes. Uh, but it says it only has 10 seeds minimum in a packet. So I might just keep both of these or I'll give one of the two packs to my friend that I'm giving the other tomatoes to. But this one is absolutely beautiful so that's why I got it too and that is all of the seeds that I ordered it's a lot like it's a lot um but I'm excited to grow seeds and plants and vegetables and everything else this coming season and I know tomatoes are a fruit and I know actually a lot of things that people think are vegetables or fruits I learned that like I'm learning and I'm excited about it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love watching seed videos, especially like vegetables and stuff like that. Um, I'm not huge into the flower garden. I love pretty things and flowers and everything else, but I'm more into growing stuff that I can eat, but I have learned it is great to add flowers in and that's why I've gotten these and this and I have some other flowers and stuff that I have that I've gotten a while ago in like seeds and box seeds and everything like that so I will be planting some of those things if you guys have any video request that you guys want to see um I'm wanting to do more like gardening stuff I have a chicken coop I'm going to be building so that is a video that I want to do soon so I just I hope you guys have a blessed day and I will see you next time bye